This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. So let's get started with a little bit of programming VBA. Before we can create any Visual Basic for Applications code, we need to have a code sheet. That code sheet is referred to as a module, which we've seen earlier. So the first step is to create a module. So with your database open that you'd like to create some VBA code within, and in this particular case, we're using the Sales Incorporated database, we can go to Create on the ribbon, come across to the Macros and Code section, and we wish to create a module. So that's the full module rather than a class module. One click here activates the Visual Basic Editor, which we can maximize, and create a brand new module. Now the first line in that module is already there for you. It's option compare database. That's always there at the start of a new module. And it effectively just tells the VBA that when comparing values, it should use exactly the same rules as the rest of the database. Fairly straightforward instruction. Sometimes there's another instruction just after that, which is option explicit return. You can see that that goes blue as well. This tells VBA that you have to declare variables before using them. So you cannot just use a variable on the fly. It has to have been declared first, which is good practice. So for the moment, I think we'll leave that there. So that's created our code sheet. Effectively, this here is a big sheet of paper that we can add more and more code to, more and more procedures. What we now need to do is save this module. So we choose save from here within the Visual Basic Editor. I've actually got two new modules. I'm not interested in module one. I'm interested in module two and yes. And then we're asked for a sensible name. I'm going to call that Guy Code. OK, and you can see that Guy Code then appears over here under the list of modules. And if we close the Visual Basic Editor, what you'll find in Access in the navigation pane is Guy Code listed as a module. So I can double click that from here and effectively reopen it in the Visual Basic Editor. So at the moment, it's just a massive blank sheet of paper ready and waiting for us to add our code to.